Hi. If you've got a phase seven or eight dish drawer, you might have issues with the tines on this right hand side not working properly and the clips that hold them. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. We're going to start off by taking this out. The dispenser here stops you from taking it out from the front. So the best bet is to lift kind of diagonally out. You want to take that right hand corner up first and then come up on an angle. So how it works, these here, there's meant to be little clips on the um, edge of the plastic here that holds them in the upright position. When they break, they just fall down. Um, that also means that these here can float around and get into your pump. So you may need to look at my other video on how to take your pump apart to get that out and have a look as well. So to replace it, Fisher and Pike, we've got a kit. And what the kit involves, it involves replacing both these tines. The plastic clips have changed. You can't just get that clip. They've redesigned it, thankfully, so it doesn't break again. And you also get a little trap door here on the kit. Take the old one off. You take the front clip off just by lifting it straight up. And then the back clip, it kind of pulls a little bit towards you. And then this whole assembly can get thrown away. So this new kit, what you get is you get two whole sets of tines, two clips, which are now identical, and the trap door. We're not going to replace that because we don't need that right now. There are also instructions, which are really great because they um, are a little bit tricky to put together. So what you want to do to start with is you want to have a look for this triangle piece of the bracket and that triangle face faces upwards which is what they show in the photo here and we also want the first one to clip onto the front set of tines I find it best to clip it onto both tines then put it into the bracket so this is sliding in there and then clipping in like that and then this rear one so once again we're getting that triangle upright and the clip facing forward so this has kind of got to sit into there and then now it's like that. We're just going to do this other one. It's clipped into there. And sliding in. So now we have this assembled. Basically, it's going to slide rearward. Oh, that's got to clip further up into there. There we go. And that one there's got it slide further up as well there now it basically just slides directly rearward onto the two frames at the same time like that so that's the easiest way to do it and then there is no clip to press to release it now that just folds down and that folds down like that and they've been redesigned so that those there aren't clips to snap off and get into your dishwasher and to put it back in, I will just go over it again. It helps if you have these end parts pulled all the way up. We want to reverse it before, so we're going to go on an angle. That front left hand corner lowest, then the rear left, front right, and then drop it in like that. So if you want to take it out, right rear corner first, then bring it out on an angle. 